Cunningham, assistant uh, brand manager at Red Stripe. She has already met the teams, and uh, now we will pause for our national anthem. The Boys Town defenders, good cross in the end. Uh, unfortunately, none of the Montego Bay players picked up. And here comes Montego Bay once again. Jeff Floyd, Leslie on that far side. The cross is a good one. And the ball, says Mr. Park. Gets it back to Drummond. So again, you're going to be hearing some names that we haven't heard for um, in previous years. And Wesley. Kerry gets it back to the skipper. Here they come. This is Armstrong. Again, the overlapping run is made. And here comes goalkeeper Harrison. You know, he gets there in a, in a, in some traffic and knocked over. He might need some, some medical support here. I think malicious in that. I um, think it's just the momentum of the players allow, causing yeah, a pretty decent result uh, when they went to Harbour View in that first one and got a point there. And uh, Harbour View getting all three. Sanders went down 4 nothing. so after two, they haven't got a point just yet. It's going to be tough for them. Come on to the bay in the, in the green tops. Ambosley working hard. Coach and Bosley. And, uh, so a lot of time afforded the veteran in midfield. Sliding tackle does when he marks and Ricardo Dennis Lewis been having the RJ barge. Boys don't play it down. Referee hasn't seen him. Here's Donovan Carey. Still kill with the ball. Oh, play through a chance here for Montego Bay. Tackle, no call. He's looking for a penalty. He doesn't get it. Ball played through once again. And he slowly gets up, but now that he realizes that he's not going to get the call. And uh, ball played through here. This is good stuff. Excellent defending, I think. Yep. Um, there now. Wilson, yeah. Um, it's Leslie. Sw Swaby needed. Well, he seems to be in some problem. That's the, the replay. And looking for a call. Trying to tell him that he's playing with 10. Teddy doesn't look like he's ready to go anywhere. But Anthony Dawes on that far side. Teddy's back on, but he doesn't look good. Maybe it suit time to Price to get someone a little warm, a little loose, because it's a, it's cool enough tonight, but he, he doesn't look 100 team loses one then you, you you suspect the team with 11 should win the game should go on to have an advantage but it doesn't work like that here's Ambosley even now if you just walked in you probably couldn't tell that Montego Bay there playing with 10 Indeed, and, and that's one of the beauties about sport Neville that it always um, gives the underdog a, a, a fair opportunity you know um, take a look at Boys Town and we'll also take a look at a, a Boys Town player who's not in the squad tonight let's see oh. I don't think hurt anyone he was called by the second assistant Geron Porsches that he he showed the red card and the other thing i i thought he took the red card from his top pocket oh, he gives up possession and ambosley gets it again just now drummond seemed to have been taking a shot yep structure in the team especially when they are defending you know you're not seeing normally you expect to see a back four maybe yeah. we know how each other how they play because they play together last season for Marbley. Here comes Montego Bay. Nash is offside. Here comes Bosley. Penny, Penny's back is right there. The ball was played right there. He was on the park. And uh, Marks. The last bit of play in the first half. Almost worked for Leslie, but it didn't. Dawes 
tried to figure it over his head. Dawes was right there. And uh, he ended up uh, getting the ball. Just roll off his leg. It looked like he was trying to get it, uh, roll off his boot, trying to get it from Keith Thomas. Over hit. And Harrison won't have any issues with that one at all. Dennis is free, gets it to him right away. Virgo. To Wilson. Tried to get it to Tom. Don't know by angles. This is Leslie. Still Leslie. And Dawes. Seems like Ambos is trying to kill some time here very early in the second half. He's down to 10, which is probably the reason he's doing that. Thomas coming all the way back for that one. Gets it to Dennis. He flicks it up to Porter. Broken up by Thompson. And now Leslie gets it back to the substitute Ronaldo Thompson. Does want to get it inside to Marks. Good return ball. Here's Thompson, the substitute. Should have got I suspect make a decision and not sure he wants to put all three on at once but he's just thinking that Thompson seems to be touched in the in the back no call and marks working hard at the, the throw goes to boy Stone crowd on that far side don't like it at all Strikes me as one of those players who has some quality but is not um, the type to put in the work to, to, to optimize the qualities that he has. And you find that uh, the boy stone players, they play like that. They work hard. They're, they're tough players. So you normally see. You know you're going to get from boy stone. If it's the, the only thing you're going to get from them, you're going to get hard work. Indeed. Ellis doesn't get a whole lot on that one. There's absolutely no advantage here for Boy Stone in that area, is it? No, not all. And that is simply because I think they are not b b exercising patience and composure with the ball. I think it's just a bit of a big rush for them whenever they have possession of the football. Oh. Here is Boy Stone. Now Montego Bay with the ball. Lambo. The red card out. Sent Kerry off and called a penalty. Is Jaron Porsches the assistant on, on well no, it was uh, Nicholas Anderson the assistant on, on this. So Ronaldo goes in for Montego Bay and Giovanni goes in for Boy Stone. Either the ones away, you probably end up winning the competition. So I don't think Boy Stone will be too annoyed if they they get a point out of this one. Uh -huh. Montego Bay, as we said, they tied their first game. Here's Marks again. That's uh, going to be a, a throw. Can you get the shot off? He does. Great save by Harrison. Who really hasn't had a whole lot of influence on the game at all. Except in for being fouled a few times. Yep. Here's Palmer. The park. There you go. Well, you know, um, again we saw the cross never coming in from right to left and catching the Montego Bay United defense totally out of sorts. Mm -hmm. And his son scores for boy stone so he, the father stops them from scoring or he certainly tries and the son but he controlled it to what we call a close body bringing it back exactly where it was coming from and that happens because he's not very aware of his environment or he's technically deficient here's barrett again plays it back through all played over and you get it before it goes into touch as yes, he does it's a good cross here. Goes for goal. Blocked. To the to touch and a, another player down. I think it's the same player who was down before. Experienced campaigner, so he knows exactly what he's doing on the park. 
it works out some of the times and it just doesn't sometimes. Yep. And certainly it was a deliberate it was Scott small bodied. Because they would say diminutive. Leslie. Wilson up front to Scott, but he gives it up on John Barrett. Will hit to the top and Ellis smartly heads it back to his goalkeeper Harrison. That, that, that's, that's the wisdom of experience there. Wayne Ellis. Indeed. A four hundred prices team to hang on to have a sweet ride back to Kingston. Ambosby inside the box. And it falls here. And uh, 